Oh, hey there, friends. How's it going? Uh, you know that genre of games that's all about, like, neglecting your family's needs in a nuclear apocalypse and just focusing on your own survival? Just, just me? Okay. Well, I suppose you don't have to play it that way, but it is pretty fun. This game is called 60 Seconds, and you got 60 seconds to grab stuff around your house, including your family, if you choose. <laughs> Put them in a bunker and try and ride it out with random generated events. It's a really cool game. I think you'll like it. I'm going to do two little playthroughs. The first time, I'm going to be the caring, loving father who tries to help all of his family. And the second time, I'm going to be the selfish mom who doesn't care about anyone but herself and be as selfish as I need to be to get through this thing. I love how when you hover over the door, the characters awkwardly stare at you like, are you coming in to play or not? All right, let's let's do this. Where where are my family? You, oh God, Tuba. The wife there. Okay, grab the wife. Just smacking into things. All right, I need to get as much stuff as I can get. Where's the panic room? No, that's just a rug. Where's the panic room? Oh, it's by the main door. Okay. Since I didn't really know what I'm doing this first run, uh, I just threw the wife down there with a gun and we're all just going to die up here. <laughs> you perished and the wife is just left there <laughs> facing the apocalypse alone. All right, let's go. I've got two of my wait I can't carry more of my family in one go you know they could just walk to the door if they really cared about survival just take as much as you can take everything I got a chessboard I got a padlock a flashlight this stuff doesn't seem very helpful actually perhaps I should take the food instead oh I just about made it in all right everyone let's settle in just want to say I really hope that Checkers board is edible. Oh, I was hyped for a second. It said, this is the best stocked shelter we've ever seen. But then they followed it up with, we've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Okay. Day one, I think no one eats. That sounds fair, right? Schedule expedition for tomorrow. And we're going to do another day without food. And we're going to take our axe. Uh, I didn't bring the rifle, unfortunately. They're all complaining that they need water. So I guess I'll give them some water. Who should go outside? Oh, you're all going. Oh, no, I can't pick all? Okay. Little Timmy then is gonna be our scout. Okay, quick, everyone, while he's gone, let's eat some soup. We found some weird mushrooms growing on one of the walls. Food shortage is no laughing matter, so maybe it would be a good idea to grab a mushroom bite or two? What's the worst thing that can happen? I like that optimism. Yes. Oh, no one's dead anyway. <laughs> now they say they're that the mushrooms were glowing in the dark. Why didn't they say that beforehand? The kid still hasn't come back, but we'll just ignore that. Someone's been banging on the door for five minutes. Should we open? It's probably Timmy, isn't it? Oh. What happened? <laughs> Should I not have opened the door? <laughs> a group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Yeah, opening the hatch was risky and it's given awful sickness. They're going a bit crazy apparently. I'll let them play a little bit of checkers. Oh, I'm hearing a knocking. Is that the kid coming back in? Is he just dead? They don't even seem phased that he's just not come back yet. The phone is ringing outside. Kid, go check on it. <laughs> oh, Timmy's back and he looks better than ever. <laughs> we managed to find a rifle as well. We also found a map near the two that we got the rifle off who we were arguing. And it says the plan to take over the world. So hopefully I can use that. Well, sorry, kiddo. Your mom used the first aid kit entirely by herself. And then we'll send out Mary Jane so that she can go exploring. Okay, day 12. Mary Jane is gone. Uh, Timmy is looking absolutely terrible. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. And then at the end, where is water when Ted needs it? Timmy's not doing great. It'd be good to talk to him and cheer him up. I think he needs more than a conversation but sure near the door there's an unknown creature that started growling do i shoot i don't want to use my only bullet I use the flashlight to see what it is oh god timmy <laughs> just allergies right you just have a bit of hay fever it was a dog good thing i didn't shoot it's timmy's birthday today he's growing so fast yeah, you get a boy scout book that you can read through if you still have vision it's not entirely clear he looks in a horrible state the scout handbook is a deadly spider killing weapon in his capable hands he's having fun I don't think he's having fun. There's one thing we need to do. It's to use a radio on a regular basis. I left it upstairs. There's animals upstairs. S send the wife up. Sure, she'll do a great job. We missed all of the animals. Okay. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. Okay. I don't see why. This is horrible. <coughs> 
oh, that coughing doesn't sound good. And I see our main guy, Ted, here is entering his bad boy era. Look at that bed head. Oh, you're back. Good to see you. Well, not really. You look awful. You got a pack of cards, I see. What about medication for your brother? She found a, a bank or a food bank because she got four soup. Found a little bit of water. And the playing cards. She found a suitcase and lost the axe somehow. The one thing I gave her. Oh, that dog's back. Yeah, give him some soup. <laughs> Hand over the supplies to the dog. Okay, who wants to go outside? Dolores? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you a briefcase. <laughs> you can go out there and do some business. There's a good chance when she comes back, both the kids will be dead. What is happening to Timmy? His hair is eating him. Yes, I just gave some scavengers some soup and they gave me a radio. Okay, let's fire up that radio. Find some rescue. I feel like the main character character just stares at you the entire game judging you some dude is worried about his sister and is showing up asking me to help free her from a bandit camp he asks that we come to his aid in his hour of need and really good things might happen to us well i can't turn that down go out mary jane good luck <laughs> you look like you're in tip-top condition to be going outside well she's alive anyway so that's better than i expected they were really thankful and promised to contact us again soon well good i want my reward right now it seems that half a dozen pipes burst and all that water is pouring right into our bunker. What? We need to save our supplies. Can I only save one of these things? I guess the radio then. That sucks. <coughs> And that coughing doesn't sound good. I don't know how he hasn't caught anything yet <laughs> sitting next to them. For just one can of soup, we can get all of this guy's bag and its content. We can't see what's inside and the trader gets us angry glances every time we take a step toward the mystery bag. What's in the mystery bag? <laughs> Give him the soup. Uh, it was a cat. <laughs> now we just have another mouth to feed and less food to feed it with. Mary Chain is no longer thirsty. Timmy's looking very pale. That's not good. The morning's been calm enough before. What is this? Uh, that's a little bit worrying. Is that a drawing of the father killing one of them? But it does say this morning has been calm enough for Ted and he's doing well. So I, I don't know. Let's just ignore that. I'm sure, it's nothing to worry about. Oh, someone's offering me ammo. Oh no, they want my ammo and then they'll give me water? Do I give them ammo or the chessboard? The, the checkers. Checkers. Yeah, give them the checkers. We already played it once anyway. Oh, you're back. I assumed you died. We have a cat now. We replaced you with it. We even called it Dolores. Okay, she went to a theater and got water great got some soup there as well look at this everyone gets to eat i'm spoiling you ted seems to be in really good shape for a trip what about you mary jane you, you you're probably ready right feeling so so is that enough for an expedition my sources say yes oh and there is a seed in the bag yeah use some water to plant the seed okay maybe ted should go i don't think they'll make it back if i send the others dolores wants to homeschool Mary Jane for a little. Okay, um, what's this picture? Who's drawing these in the book? Can I know that? Day 30. We've been through one month together, everyone. Well, in the homeschooling, they managed to make a med kit. So good job, Mary Jane. But we're using it on your brother. The cat has a collar on it with an address. Should we go outside and check that address? Of course we should. That person might need their cat back. Ah, oh, Timmy looks so much better now. <laughs> he doesn't know it because he can't see. Two men wearing dark coats and stylish hats just took the cat to give it to an old lady. I don't know how I feel about that. Are they going to eat the cat? Well, whoever's doing the drawings, at least this is a happy one this time. I see the seed is growing in the soup can. Excellent news. Aren't there any drugs we could give Mary Jane? Is that you want to give drugs to Mary Jane? Or was that comma asking about Mary Jane? <laughs> We're running out of soup. Where the hell is Ted at? It's a military broadcast asking me to shine a flashlight. I'll do it. I hope it's not a trap. <laughs> We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Let's see if they get back to us. <gasps> Hopefully. How would they know that they saw them? Oh, a nearby group could really use someone with able hands and an axe well if only we hadn't lost it well actually mary jane be thankful you lost it because i would have sent you okay what the hell is growing feed me <laughs> it's another mouth to feed and the cat is back and i don't have poison or an axe to get rid of the thing i can't kill the plant is that gonna grow more next time okay it it's good, I think. I think it died somehow. Oh no, we had to give it two soup cans. I guess the metal killed it off then. Um, we're entirely out of soup. So I really hope he comes back. Oh, he's back. Thank goodness we're all saved. And he's not sick either. <gasps> and he got medical supplies. The cat found some wire and it's two surprise gentlemen having a picnic outside. But obviously they're spying on us. He found one can of soup and a canteen. You were gone that long to find that. Two water 
That's good. And a med kit and a gas mask. <gasps> There's an axe sticking out of the back of one of the patients. Excellent. Okay, let's get you healed up. I have a tiny bit of soup left. It's worrying. Mary Jane wants to go up and get her musical instrument. You know what? Sure, because if you die, I have less mouths to feed. We sure hope the tuba didn't make it, they said. We're pretty sure we prefer radio static or even the sweet sound of silence. I would love to give you soup, but um, Ted is eating the last of it. The agents who were spying on us are now at the door and want to explain themselves. Well, I kind of have to listen, to be honest. I'm out of food, so I have to take every opportunity I can get. It honestly sounds like a scam. They're saying they're agents working for the government and they'll help us. They weren't listening in on us. It was the cat they were interested in. Yeah, I totally believe you guys. There's a vehicle parked just down the street? Dolores, go grab that vehicle. It was a rusty tank. I have water for all of them, but I have no food. I'm just kind of hoping I randomly get some. In the meantime, I'm going to send out a Dolores to find what she can. Day 40. We've made it quite a long time. Open in the name of freedom. Came a shout from outside her door. It's a group of people probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Yes. <laughs> I mean, we don't really have any other choices. We regretted opening the door the minute we saw who was standing on the other side. Dark faces, rifles, and determined looks of a band of teenagers. We're doomed, we thought. Wait, then out of the blue, one of them asked us if we're with the Reds. We've never supported the Red Sox, so we calmly said that we weren't. The tension dropped immediately and those nice young people gave us two bottles of water. Um, I would have preferred food. Can I put in requests? I have loads of water, but I have no food. A trader who's very interested in ammunition. Yeah, just take it. Give me food. In return, he offered us rations. One for one. That's a pretty terrible trade, but I'll take what I can get. Okay, you all get a little bit. Oh, the people are back to build a camp. Yeah, you can use the axe this time. I fixed my daughter's stupidity. <laughs> We're back to the same situation. I am out of food. <laughs> I lasted one day and I already don't have food for Timmy who's starving. The army again. We thought they were near, but it seems something kept them away. Guess we're not leaving yet. The broadcast was con concluded with a request for assistance. They want us to take a few canisters of gas in the nearest bus stop. I have a gas mask. I'll do it. Timmy was never a fan of soup, but soup is all he talks about now. <laughs> Oh, is that the sound of the mom coming back? Yes, she's back. I hope you brought food. <laughs> we just about hung in there. Five soup. Yes, we're saved. We always thought canned soup is made in America. Apparently, it's made in another country with a weird name that we didn't recognize. Probably Canada or something. Also found some ammo and a chessboard, but we may have been spotted and followed. There you go, everyone. You get to eat, except Ted. He already ate enough. <laughs> the agents rang again with a top secret mission that'll surely land us in the VIP bunker very soon. I don't trust these people at all, but I will send my son anyway. The cat is growling the general direction of us and our supplies. Have some soup. <laughs> There's plenty to go around now. Should have probably thought about that a bit more. <laughs> this door-to-door -door salesman wants supplies and he says he will reveal some state secrets to us in return. You know what? I am interested. I'll give you some water. He tried to make us believe that America has a working space station in orbit. Well, that was absolutely useless information. That doesn't help. Oh no, what's this? <laughs> All right, well, Timmy isn't here, so it's not him, and I thought it was Timmy. Best to just ignore the problem and hope it goes away. Oh no. <laughs> well, Timmy's back, and they're getting hyped. They're expecting the government shelter to have an excellent bathroom, maybe even a hot tub. I think we're getting scammed. All cats like a good pet, and this should hopefully be no exception. Otherwise, any attempt to touch the cat could lead to her untimely deaths. What? Should we try and play with him? Just play with him. I don't care. <laughs> the cat escaped her warm, friendly embrace and jumped to the other side of the shelter, knocking a water bottle off the shelf. Damn it. Now we're suddenly running low on water. <laughs> I'm gonna send Mary Jane out. She'll be fine. I'll give you this uh, book that you can use. The Boy Scouts book. There's an armed and dangerous woman outside. Fortunately, she's out of ammo. She tells us she hunts the wild beasts of the waste. And right now she's on a trail of a giant mutated spider. We're pretty sure she lost her mind. She promises that if we help her, she'll return the favor. Yeah, go ahead. Take this ammo. She'll probably kill us all on sight. That shelf is looking pretty empty. Oh no, they're all thirsty. And I'm completely out. Out. Like you've been eating soup. Surely that calms the thirst as well. The group is collecting toys to keep children happy and stop them from running off into the wasteland. These are the people we gave the axe to earlier. Like, can they not give me food? They're clearly fine if they're out here looking for checkers sets for the kids. Dad looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. No! Like, I'll give you some soup. That should fix it, right? There was another military announcement on the radio. The soldiers are nearby and ordering a single person from each survivor group to meet them. I'm pretty sure it 
Timmy is going to die next turn. In fact, anyone might die next turn. I'll send myself just because, you know, that's probably the best chance of survival. <laughs> oh, Ted came right back. No one's taking care of him. They're still all dehydrated and Timmy's in agony. Ah, well, whatever. Go to sleep. The agents want soup or water and uh, we'll get a promise of a better future in a safe government shelter. I don't even have it to give, but they're 100% scamming us. The end. No, <laughs> we died. Oh, the kid came back. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to shelter from the surface. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure you're dead. So Ted died of dehydration. Dolores died of dehydration. And Timmy went insane, opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. Uh, is that it? What about the kid? The kid was still there. <laughs> We're just going to forget about her. She just dies. Well, now that the whole family is dead, we get to move on to being Dolores and we can be as selfish as we want to be. I think it's really fitting of the character. She just has that look in her eye that just says she doesn't care about anything or anyone. Maybe we're not so different after all. Okay, this time we're playing as Dolores and I have a slightly different strategy in that I'm going to be extremely selfish. Sorry, Ted, no time. It's just me and the kids now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> the end. No, this is just the beginning. What do you mean? What? <laughs> Wait, I didn't put him in, did I? What? <laughs> you perished. What's happening? All right. Most important thing is the radio. Okay, I'm trying this again without saving him. Day one. Okay, great. He's not here. <laughs> okay, kids. Let's not address the elephant in the room. Or in this case, the lack of one. Because I'm the one that decides if you get soup or poison. So they made this journal and then put his face in just to scribble him out. We got barely any water. I say we, but it was all me. All right, let's turn on the radio. I'm totally buying into this conspiracy thing. I'm banking on them saving me. And I just need the kids to keep me alive until they can save me. I'm only now realizing I can click here to feed all of them. But I won't need that anyway. Right, I'm going to send Timmy off into the wilderness <laughs> without any food or water. Or anything, in fact. Huh. Kiddo's not looking too good. <laughs> Whatever happened. Oh, she ate the mushrooms and it didn't go down well. <laughs> well, you're not getting my medical supplies. That's for sure. Uh, there's apparently a huge hairy bunny beast in one of the pipes. I'm just going to use the axe, even though this sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, no, it was a hairy mutant, apparently, and they fended it off. Wow, okay. I thought they were just getting bunker madness already. Wait, hold on. There's a fire? We need to put it out and save our supplies. Well, we can't save them all. Oh, I need them though. Okay, what if I use the medical supplies on her? Yeah, and then that's gone from there and I'll save the radio. Then I lose one. It's not too bad. Oh, look who's fine all of a sudden. Faking it, I bet. Might be a good time to mention we are completely out of water. I'm kind of hoping for the best here. A game of cards? Gambling for two soup cans? Why not? Haha, <laughs> we won. Haha. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to feed my daughter. Oh no, there's a group. They look like they're out for blood. Or cans. Probably cans. Oh, are they Irish? Oh no, canned soup you mean. Sorry, I thought you were on about. You know, cans. What will they defend themselves with? I mean, you could just lock it, right? Even though they probably just wouldn't give up if there's a little padlock. Let's hit them with an axe. Oh. Timmy's back. Oh, you don't look great, kid. Okay, well, the axe worked to scare them off. It does say I lost one axe, which I don't understand. Like, where did it go? Aha, he got three waters. Good job, Timmy. You're thirsty and hungry. I'll send Mary Jane out into the wilderness. Sure, she can fend for herself for a while. It builds character. Timmy's diet needs food. It's today or never. All right, well, I do have a lot of it, I guess. I guess you can eat. Mary Jane, you the head on out. You'll be fine out there. She was on the verge of death, but we'll see how that goes. Timmy is still quite sickly. Timmy needs to rest a bit longer. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Timmy should eat something. Today has been fine for Dolores thus far. Okay, he is like, again, on the verge of death, which is great because that means I can stay in control. But I will keep him alive for now. <laughs> Some smelly man in torn up clothes is asking, do I want to buy a rock? I kind of do want to buy a rock, but I also want to live, so no. Now oh, there's a phone outside. I, I think this will be safe. Dolores can go. I would send Timmy, but honestly, I think he'd just fall over and die if he had to stand up. <laughs> do you see what I mean? He's just looking worse and worse. The state of him, and I'm still like, only I may eat. <laughs> Airdrops from the military. Oh, we have a gas mask. We can go out and get this. Even though we seem to be going out willy-nilly fine anyway. I don't really understand that. Oh, it looks like our mask was ruined. I hope it was worth it. Two water, two soup. That's not bad. That'll keep me going for a while. I'd like to think every time she just sips from the water and doesn't make eye contact, just looks off this way. A band of people all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep and claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. That's exactly what happened to us. Should we let those clowns in? In this case, aren't I 
the one that's rich i have loads of supplies no you're not coming in mary jane you're back and looking better than ever Four soup and four water. Great job, Mary Jane. Too bad you'll never have any. <laughs> Sending Timmy outside is a bit risky, but he's eager to help. I think I'm willing to risk it. How will this solve it? You know, I'll use it anyway. I don't have anyone sick. Well, anyone that I care about. <laughs> okay, Timmy, you're heading out. <laughs> Best of luck to you. I like how every time I've just been giving them this suitcase with nothing in it. <laughs> I just thought it would be good, you know? People would think they're professionals. You know, take the map. Maybe that'll be helpful. Oh no, I don't have the flashlight for the army thing. Oh, I hope they can still find me. I'd much rather give my food to them than my children. <laughs> looking good, Mary Jane. I, I don't think you even need to eat. You're looking like a 80s rock star. Really cool. They're complaining they need a shower. We don't have soap, but there are other alternatives to consider. And one of them is bug spray. <laughs> and one is bullets. Like what? You just shoot yourself? All right, I'll go with the gas mask, whatever that means. Just hide from the smell. A group of friendly survivors nearby. Or that's who they claim to be. One soup. No, you get no soup from me. Even though I was tempted to just so that Mary Jane could see me feeding strangers instead of her. Even though she looks better. Like genuinely. No sarcasm this time. Yeah, She's all healed up. I knew you were faking. A mother always knows best, Mary Jane. Enough of this plain tasteless water. Dolores is really craving a cup of coffee. Someone should go on a coffee run. But who? I vote Mary Jane. <laughs> Empty handed. Oh, Mary Jane. Come on now. Just because of that, you don't get to eat or drink today. Oh, Timmy, you look so tanned. You got soup. You got two water for some cultists and a flashlight. Not bad. Look at this. It's a very special day. I'm feeding them both. I do have a giant surplus and I have absolutely nothing wrong with me. So I did feel like it was time to step up for the children. If Timmy goes out right now, he might die. It's not even letting me pick him. Well, as I always say, the wasteland is no match for Mary Jane. The map slid off the wall and there's a box behind it. Should we open it? Well, now you have to. I need to know what's in the mystery box. It was some soup. <laughs> well, that was lucky. What's oh, the guy with the, the bag? Will I get a cat again? I'm giving him the soup immediately anyway. Timmy didn't see because his hair is grown down over his eyes. Oh, no, I think he is. He is seeing the cat. What is this blood end? <laughs> Military's transmission again okay i have the flashlight this time so i guess it'll always repeat i just need to get the item in time mary jane's back everyone awesome and she ruined the map what the hell she got absolutely nothing shame on you mary jane i don't know how dolores is fatigued because she's done absolutely nothing maybe she's getting like bed sores timmy has a chance to get back how big a chance though big enough for me to take but look i'm actually feeding them on day 34 now so this is a, a pretty big step for me. And then he'll go off into the wilderness. It'll be dangerous to me, so I insist that you take or checkers board. Good luck out there. I wonder what these two talk about. <laughs> Mary Jane didn't utter a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. <laughs> these supplies are lasting a lifetime. Well, two lifetimes. Maybe one and a half, I guess. Oh, the seed. Should I plant it? Is it going to be the same thing? I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> Plus, I'd have to give it water and I, I, I have plenty of soup. But water is a bit more limited. Mary Jane took it harder than we thought. She really was emotionally invested into growing that plant. I guess that's all she has. Oh, hey, buddy. You made it back. Congratulations. <laughs> you got two water. A great. A tree soup. You lost the checkers board, you idiot. Mary Jane might be willing to go to the waste, but will she make it? Find out next week. Is this a picture of me? <laughs> Who drew this? Tell me immediately. All right, Mary Jane, get out of here. I'm going to assume it was you. Oh no, a radio broke. I needed that. Make a standard surrender. Bandits, just lock the thing. Let's see if the padlock works. <laughs> Oh no, that didn't sound good. Oh, we made it. But they did break the padlock. I guess they broke it, but they were so tired they just had to go home. Our little weasel of a neighbor had a safe in his living room. Timmy, go check. An axe. Excellent, I needed that. You get rewarded for that, young man. Dolores just got hurt. There was something in the sewer, like some giant crocodile. I don't know. I didn't even send her down. It was a general thing. I assumed they'd send Timmy. A scout signal. Yes, use the scout book, Timmy. You're a genius. We haven't seen Timmy this excited in a long time. I think it's probably more delirious than anything else. Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something bad has happened to her. Even though, given 
how we've been playing. It's more like we fear something bad has happened to her. What the hell? I went up to talk to the agents and she didn't come back. Oh, no, they just thanked us. Okay, I guess she'll be back soon. I guess being lore friendly, um, Timmy would probably try and sneak a sip of water here. Oh, my God. All hands on deck. There are people on the other side of the door and they don't seem too friendly. They've promised us a painful death. We'd better prepare. They'll be forcing that door open any minute now. Oh, good luck, Timmy. It's all on you. Oh, my God. He did it. What a legend. We did lose the axe I needed, though, Timmy. For God's sake. Dolores hasn't come back yet. I'm a little bit scared. Aha, she's back. Okay, back to just chilling now. There's someone at the door. I'm gonna open it. Oh, they give us a med kit. Excellent. That's going straight to me anyway. Oh, no. Someone's breaking in and I don't have a weapon. A harmonica? <laughs> oh, I could have calmed them down with folk music, I guess. I, I don't have anything to defend myself with. Oh, good. They got the kid. <laughs> we watched helplessly as those cruel togs took Timmy out of the shelter. We hope we'll see him again someday. She doesn't look too bothered, to be honest. Okay, here's the part where I can give over loads of supplies. Here's the soup. I didn't feed my children. <laughs> All of these notes are like, we were discussing plans. We discovered that they came from a small group. <laughs> Who's we? <laughs> but here, have some soup. I got loads of it. We're up to day 60 now. Dolores is hanging in there. Oh no, there's banditos at the door. I, I don't know what to do. I was going to try and leave, but I need to schedule it for tomorrow. So, all right, I guess I'll just sit here in a mood. Oh, I guess they just killed me. She doesn't even seem bothered. <laughs> the cat certainly doesn't. Certainly better results being Dolores, the evil one. I feel like I got some bad RNG with the weapons. And my children certainly didn't pull their weight. So we will end it there. But thank you so much for being in the bunker with me today. You can check out more of my content here if you want to stay in the bunker. And thank you again. Subscribe if you're new. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.